All right, welcome to lab one of our sequence called Our Place in Space, which makes use of the Skynet Robotic Telescope Network. Most of our labs will make use of the Skynet telescopes, though a few will be traditional in that you'll collect your data via other means. Now lab one will take place in two parts, which at most institutions will be spread out across two separate weeks. In that first week, you'll learn how to use Skynet, which is our image acquisition system, and you'll use Skynet to observe a great many things, mostly solar system objects, planets, moons, dwarf planets, but also a few deep sky objects, such as nebulae and globular clusters and galaxies. Skynet will then go off and collect these images for you and get them back to you. And then in the second week of lab one, you'll learn how to use Afterglow, which is our image analysis system, which we also designed and developed. Using Afterglow, you'll view your images. You'll learn how to adjust the brightness and contrast in them to bring out more details. You'll learn a few basic measurement skills, such as how to measure the angular size of objects in your images. And you'll learn how to identify objects in your images. So, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna image a bunch of stuff. And at the same time, we're going to develop a skill set, a toolkit that we can carry forth into the remaining labs in the sequence and build on in those remaining labs. Now the remaining labs will be based on what astronomers call the cosmic distance ladder. In lab two, we'll start close in on Earth scales. And as we go through the labs, we'll work ourselves farther and farther out until we're studying the universe in its entirety. Now, in the upcoming videos, I'm going to overview the different parts of these labs. In the next video, I'm going to explain the instructions that you'll find at the beginning of each lab. Then I'll overview the background sections of lab one. And then I'll briefly overview the procedure sections of lab one and only briefly because embedded in these procedure sections are other video tutorials showing you how to do the various tasks in much more detail. Okay, that's it for this video.